Um, can somebody press record? Hey you guys, back with another video. This video is of Braylon's mother. Her basically defending herself and telling people what to do why everybody's searching for her son. Um, I don't know any mother that has any amount of time to sit on Facebook and tell people what to do, let alone constantly keep checking and deleting stuff. Well, check this out. I got the pictures of everything before she was able to delete her profile. Enjoy. Bring it back, give me that sugar. I want that sugar. Give me that sugar. That oh, I want that sugar. Give me that sugar. That oh, I want that sugar. That sugar, sugar. Boy, give me that sugar. She says, I've been at the police station all day, wasn't able to have my phone, but it's sad that y'all really sitting here speculating that I would do something to my own son, especially the people I know. Y'all see me on here talking about him every day, man. The search is still on because somebody's seen him. The police ain't gonna tell y'all that though. So the search is still on. We not giving up. I can't live without him, man. I feel like I failed. Kiss your kids tonight and keep them close, please. All right, y'all, now that was the first message. This is when I started tuning in and started paying attention and copying everything down, you know? Because shortly after she wrote that, she deleted it and wrote this. Me and my people was already out looking when everybody pulled up. I'm not about to go outside and stand around, but y'all need to look at different apartment complexes down airport. You need to space out. That's the direction we headed. Thank you. How you talking to people like this and they helping you look for your kid lady like that's just gonna piss people off i know it would piss me off but i got a message like that from the mother then she says exactly i'm everywhere right now i'm just not looking in my complex that's what everybody needs to do space out people just standing around looking like i said they didn't start pissing people off her cousin got on here and start defending her and all type of stuff but Matter of fact, let's get to that right now. Okay, so they say, she too busy sitting in the house, eating while everyone else out searching. Me personally, if my child was missing, no way in hell I'd be inside and or able to eat. Then she says, crazy, FTPD, which is the police department, as she screams, but they doing way more than her. And strangers are showing more emotion than her. So, as I said, she pissing these people off because she out here joking and laughing and having a good old time like come on man then they say all should be on her ass too standing outside laughing and chill as hell now inside eating a meal while her child is missing she screams f t p d yet they doing more than her and showing more emotions than her the mother then they says all right like how you even have time to be on facebook tagging people and stuff when your whole child is missing. Say, so then you have enough of stable mind to make and delete posts. Those are useful minutes that could go to your son. If you really didn't know what happened and thought he was somewhere lost. Now, when people kept saying, she was saying, F the police, I'm like, where are they getting that from? So I had to find it. So I dug a little deeper, and this is what she said said he never fell off the balcony and as i seen the window i ran outside to go look f the police department they just found two bodies in the river because of them so basically she's saying she's seen the window open like it was like this and if you look at this window right here you can see that it looked like it's been pulled in and not pushed out if it was pushed out then nine times out of ten it would be on the ground so I don't I don't understand that's what I'm saying I'm confused that I don't understand how he could go through the window and the window not be pushed out it's pulled in like somebody yanked it inwards like I don't, I don't know anyways let's keep going she says as you can see they canceled the search because of visibility somebody seen my child at the park while I was getting questioned and that was another thing somebody said they seen a child that looked like hers but 
I, I don't know if that was actually her child or if that was another child. But apparently the child was at the park with some random man and the child didn't have no clothes on. So it could possibly be her child. But why would the man take the child to the park? I don't know. I don't know. Then she says, yeah, if you want to help, you can come search as well in the complex is down airport. Between all of this, my child is still missing. So basically, in the midst of all this, she on Facebook arguing with all these people. And she supposed to be helping these search teams and everybody else look for her child. Why are you sitting here arguing with everybody on Facebook? Okay, anyways, it says, was out there today. You have half a Toledo helping you, sis. I'm trying to get the story right because I'm concerned about a child that's not mine. Whatever happened, you know. I pray he's found safe because this is some straight BS. All right, now this girl is once again pissing these people off, treating them like they are kids. And she couldn't watch her own kid. Mm. All right, now. So they start to come out with speculation. They say just left to search the whole back area. Next person say they just sent out people to Stephen Miller where they dump garbage. The neighbor says she ain't seen or heard the baby since Tuesday morning. As a couple reported, the man and lady that stays downstairs from them said the baby was crying the whole morning. Then all of a sudden, it got quiet. Hmm. So I don't know if these neighbors lying on this lady. Or did something happen to that baby? Hmm. Of course, you know, all this talk got the mother mad. <laughs> and she starts to say, okay, well, exactly why he's been spotted at the park, babe. He goes to the pool and park every day. We need all the help we can get, though. So if you want to come and help search, check the other apartment complexes towards the airport, please. This girl got so much attitude when she the one missing her child, really? She act like everybody else lost the baby. Then she says, me and my people was already out looking when everybody pulled up. I'm not about to go outside and stand around, but y'all need to look at different apartment complexes down airport. We need to space out. That's the direction we're headed. Thank you. <laughs> and then somebody snaps back at her and says, I'm with my children. I have a life as well. I did my part. More than a child's own mother. Sickening. That all of us seem to care and show more emotion than she has. Sad as we getting cussed out because we care. Do you not see the issue with that? Stay in a child's place. Tell that B to get it entirely together and pray to God she ain't lying. Ooh, she told her. <laughs> and someone else chimes in. Right, typing paragraphs and putting hearts on comments and shit. <laughs> like, seriously, for real? Of course she didn't like that. So she says, well, my question to you is, why didn't you say anything to me if you felt so much anger towards how I was acting? Then she says, thank you. They gave us multiple polygraph tests. They took the extra phones and everything. We would be suspects if that's the case. Nigga, they took the extra phones and everything because you are a suspect. Duh. Oh, yeah, and the excuse she gave for the neighbor hearing the baby crying is, once again, normal. He's had had a bad stomach since last year. Yeah, they're going to hear him frequently. Yeah, right. So, of course, her family did have to jump in and chime in. I don't know exactly what the auntie said, but she had to tell the auntie. Um, don't go back and forth with her auntie. They gonna find something wrong in everything I do. They just want a story. That's it. No, you gave everybody a story. And her cousin says, we outside posting flyers at stores. Shut the f you stupid bee. As you can see, her family is trying to defend her. People want to rip her head off. So people start going to psychics to see what was up. So she asks, hey queen, can you help me help find this missing little boy? Can you tell me if he's safe? Okay. And she says, my spirits are telling me that he's not okay. I just want to bring him home. The psychic says, that baby gone. She says, my spirits are crying for that baby. Need to find him. I've been praying. I'm wrong. I don't want to be right. She says, I feel he's gone. I have been out looking for him. The mom is emotionless. So she tells her to check wooded areas and near tall grass. I keep seeing trees and tall grass. And another psychic says, the little three-year-old boy did not fall out of a window. He is with a man under 23 years old. 
The man is not quite mentally right. The boy is in a man-made shed by Swan River. Metal. Could have white paint on it. Not sure if boy is okay. Man has either been molested in his past or he is to the boy right now. Cannot tell. He does not have long. Please take my information seriously. However, mother is definitely not telling the truth. I believe she knows this man. Crime Stoppers line is busy. I cannot get through. Look for someone white with like a reddish hair. He knows something. Okay, now do y'all know these people in this complex that went, found some white man with red hair, chased his car down, busted all his tires, and hunted that man down, and he had nothing to do with it. Like, he's just getting out of hand. And then they say they need check the trash can. Seriously, this boy hasn't been seen at his apartment since Tuesday. Trash is collected Thursday and Friday in South Toledo. Now, we know that baby's body has been found today, okay? Now, we got to think about this, okay? There was someone saying that there was a man-made hole, and it was dug up with a two-by-four, and there was baby footprints over there. Remember that? And if you remember that, then you would know that the pool was literally right next to there literally to the left of there was the pool they said they checked it days before the police officers literally went in there and did a whole sweep you can look in the water and see in there it's not like it's really murky or anything like you can see that baby's body clear as day like, uh, if you walk up to the pool somebody you can tell me whatever there. if you don't want me to ask you questions i i am just gonna Here's ask the you mother to say and spell your first and last name though mm -hmm. i do because i don't want to get that wrong of course all right um okay um it's been four days since my son has been missing and I just want whoever to have him, please take him somewhere safe. I know he's scared, and I know he's crying, and he has stomach pains, and he's not eating. He's a picky eater. So if you want to just drop him off somewhere, please drop him off to the police station. You can drop him off here and call my phone. Like, I know he's crying. I know you can't get him to stop crying. He's being picky. He's not eating. And if he's scared, I won't be mad. Please just drop him off to me. I just want him home. That's it. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you for doing that. I will put that out. And then Dejanet, Dejanet correct? Mm -hmm. D-A-J-A-N-E. Mm -hmm. Cock. D-A-J-N-A-E. Cock. Okay. Thank you so much. Is there any... If you notice something right behind them right there is the pool area. Also, the search team is set up in this little gazebo. Let's be serious. Anything else you'd want to say? Mm -mm. Okay. Thank you. Search team say they searched it Friday. So there's no way. And Saturday there was a scare where they said it was a, a hole inside of the woods and it was dug by a two by four by human. So, hmm, makes you wonder. Somebody was moving that baby around trying to get him dug or hide him, period. Some people are saying it's this man with the red hair in the woods, the homeless man. They said he was lurking and this is what one young lady had to say about him. She said again, I'm asking everybody to sit back and really look at the whole picture here. Maybe the story of how Braylon got out is not 100% accurate, but there was no way anybody could get into that pool without keys. It's padlocked at all times. The pool was closed down for the summer. The fence was so high, it would be impossible for that baby to get in between the fence. It would have been taken somebody very strong to pull that fence apart. It would have taken more than one person to pull that baby over there and then open the drain and then put that baby down in the drain. Look at the bigger picture. Here, people, we saw a psychopath lurking and wandering in the woods watching us. You have the maintenance man that only has access to the keys, and we have to look outside the box and quit blaming the mom and grandma until the evidence comes in. I'm pretty sure that all of you are going to be shocked. Hmm, or are we, though? Said, for several days, while we're down at the search, we had the white man with red hair lurking in the woods and watching us. He would come out of nowhere saying horrible things. He was by the pool often, sat there and for about 40 minutes the night before last and listened to my whole conversation with many of the searchers and then walked up and asked me what was going on. He was seen in the woods digging a big hole. There's pictures of him. 
And someone said, totally missed anything about a psychopath lurking in the woods. That's interesting. And totally disturbing at the same time. Why were they lurking and not helping with the search? First of all, I'm kind of iffy about this information because it sounds like they've been watching a lot of posts and they just made up a whole scenario. I'm just saying. Supposedly, he squeezed through these bars right here and he fell in there. Now, remember I told y'all there was a search party like a couple of days before? This is a search party. They were right there. As you can see, the pool is right there. If they trying to get down here, y'all, to get him. They would have found that baby that day. Like, let's be serious. They probably messed it up. Yeah, that's why we're not taking it. I can go down there and just make sure nobody. You need to go down there. Yeah. I'll make sure. I'll make sure nobody gets near there, baby. You're screaming. Or is the hall by the? Is the hall by the footprint? Yeah, we out here by the pool. You see everybody. We out. It's a, we search. Whoa. We out here looking. Mm, mm, mm. No way. Let me show you all this. They trying to say this baby pulled these bars apart right here and climbed through there. Look at this fall. Get out of here, man. And they found him in a drain in the pool. Face down. Halfway hanging out. Look at these bars. Can't no three year old do that. That's what I just did. Cause that fence, that fence right there is just no. And then it's new dirt. This is right. What's right here that it had to be fixed? What's right here that had to be fixed? Well, where where the new dirt at anywhere else? Footprints. It's a broken fence. The divers is in there. That no, this this door this dirt wasn't right here. So with the fence being broke right here, where the other where the dirt at? So they only fix it on the spot right here. Just right here. But they look fresh. Right this fresh dirt. This That's fresh dirt. They, they covered up care. footprints. Look, look y'all, they didn't care to cover the dirt up all right here. The they keep right fucking here. with us. Notice it's so much dirt right, right here. Right there. They might have had him right If they there, been did this, back. they would have flattened this shit out. You feel mm -hmm. me? Why, why just leave it like that? He threw this dirt and he ain't come finish his job. What you gonna say? I was gonna finish this shit after Memorial weekend? This yeah. is slimy. This yeah. is slimy. It's all, it's, 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 it's slimy. It's real slimy. This gate about to be full of balloons. Watch. Yeah, I, know, I need to get to the Girl, I hope she didn't wait for the police to leave and then all of a sudden she throw him back there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they straight climbing down there. Yeah, TPD moving fast as fuck to get down there now. Oh, no. Girl. Look at my skin, bro. No, I already know. Newsman running now and shit. The lady in the pink, her and the, that man I showed you all at first. They, they found the footprints? They found the footprints. How do you know it's little baby footprints? They got it on the damn video. And the police and the dogs never seen it? The man the man had his own dog down there. And the dog is what hit. Look, she got the video showing him. Mm-hmm. Run. Is that swimming pool open? Nope. Here comes channel 11. I'd have been down there like Spider Man. You gotta go down, it's down. Like, uh, uh. 
It's only one fire person that's still up top. All the rest of them went down. Here come the detectives. Where? I'm pretty oh, sure. Is that a detective? No. Oh, that ain't it. That ain't a detective. So there's nobody out here, y'all, but the two fire, I mean, two police cars, citizens, <coughs> and. Girl, look at my shirt. I see. It's fucking with me. And that's it. What they saying? What they saying back there? Nothing. They went down there. Yeah, I yeah. I'm not. Mm. You don't go down there. Shit, Vincent, I seen you just sitting. Shit. Like I said, I'll say it again. Don't give no fucks. The bitch know something about this baby. Ain't no motherfucking three-year-old gonna be missing for 48 hours and nobody knows shit. Everybody that's affiliated with this bitch, you bitches know what's going on too. Motherfuckers. Pop off the door. We have a crime scene photographer here. There's a camera. <gasps> here he is walking. Hello, Tim. Yeah. Okay, thanks. All right, bye. As soon as Kelly comes over, get off Facebook yep, Live. I will. Yeah, I'll call Andy and he'll cue us. Wait, why do I? Have, are you? Is he cutting in on Facebook Live or on, no, on air? He's cutting on air. We'll so then, why can't I stay on Facebook Live? Tim says to get off Facebook Live when Kelly comes so you can ask questions. Okay. Because we're breaking in live. Okay. So everyone, when we do have an officer that can answer some questions for us, I am going to jump off. You can tune in live on air. So this crowd has gathered outside of mom's house, or excuse me, her apartment, where she is currently, TPD had apparently told her to stay in her apartment. Lieutenant Gherkin with TPD, he's walking, he's in the tan pants. So this crowd is gathered outside of her, so yeah, outside of mom's apartment building. They've been yelling, go get her, we want justice. Now TPD, TPD is now standing outside of her building. Uh, 
Let me just go back over here for a second. So again, we just got some police officers outside of mom's apartment. People are calling for justice. Hey guys, sorry, I was just trying to console the um, search coordinator. I mean, she's been out here since day one. She's very emotionally invested in, uh, she was, she's been very emotionally invested in finding Braylon. Um, I just wanted to give her a pat on the back and tell her that she's been doing such a great job. Guys, I'm just over here to see if um, someone is taken away into custody. I don't want to speculate, but for people who are wondering. Let me, let me see if I can confirm with somebody that that was mom. <laughs> Lieutenant, can you confirm who they put in the... Yeah, we got them out of here. Yes, mom and grandma left. Yes, I will confirm. Are, are they in custody in handcuffs? They left. 
Okay. Where do we, where do we park at? Oh, okay. So, I just talked with Lieutenant Gherkin with TPD. He said that mom and grandma left. I asked him, were they taken into custody? Were they handcuffed? He said, they left. What did she confirm? Go on in. Well, I'm just going to get started. Maybe I'll catch this live later. I just want to thank everyone for your prayers for my nephew Brandon. Uh, they did find him today. Uh, it's it's bittersweet, you know, but the attack is so much on our family right now. My brother and his wife, my brother Jeff and his wife, you know, but God is in control of this situation here. And we thank everyone for your prayers. We thank everyone that came out looking for the baby. We appreciate everyone. We want to want you to keep our my brother Jeff and his wife Jesse in your prayers. You know, God knows all, and we can't we can we can speculate. We can do all things, but God knows every, the whole situation. But the attack is so much on the family right now, hating on our family. And you know, God 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 got this situation in in control. And I know God got my brother Jeff right now. Got his wife Jesse. That was their grandbaby. And, you know, over here, I'm just here. I thank everyone for your prayers for the last week or so. I just, we appreciate it. We really, really appreciate all your prayers. Because prayers, and we still need your prayers. This thing is not over. And we ask that you continue to keep us in your prayers. You know, because it's not over yet. And, you know, when people are saying mean things, nasty things, but we don't, we, God knows the situation. And, you know, and uh, we just, you know, it's, just, it's heartbreaking. He was, he was such a, 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 a joyful little boy. If you be around Braden, he was just a, such a happy little boy. Pray for my nephew. This was his son. You know, he going through. The, pray for the, the uncles, the aunts, everyone that's involved. We all going through something. And we all can speculate. So many people out here speculate and don't know nothing. Don't know nothing about the situation. But always got, got their mouth on something and don't know nothing. And that's the whole, that's the whole problem right now with this, what's going on. You know, it, out there it was a bad situation. You know, you know, we don't know, we don't know to the, God knows what happened. And, you know, we're just going to let God handle it. And I'm right now. I'm just lift, trying to lift my brother up and keep his wife in prayer. You know, it's it's not easy losing nobody in your family. That's your grandbaby. You know, because he was a, such a joyful little boy, and we're gonna miss Braden. And I just want to update everyone about the situation because it really got ugly when we went out there to the apartment complex. So many people tried to jump my brother this afternoon for what reason? I don't know. He has nothing, and his wife trying to jump Jesse, jump my brother and his wife out here. The situation, you know, they need closure too. And you know, and I, I just thought it was just so ridiculous how people try to jump them out there at the apartment complex not too long ago. You know, over, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's just was, it's just messed up. The whole thing was, and you know, my brother, they were good grandparents to Braden. They loved Braden. We love Braden, we, and you know, I tell you, we, you know, and Spike all, you know, we're still gonna lift his mom up in prayer. We don't, know, I don't know the situation. 
I wasn't there. But I, you know, I know Brain is my ne my great nephew, and I'm telling you, you know, people people got a lot to say about this and that. You wasn't there. You don't know nothing, and if you wasn't there. You speculate all you can speculate. That's why people need Jesus now, because I tell you, people don't understand nothing, but got a whole lot to say. And until the end, we'll know what the end gonna be. And then we will always be, I tell my brother, we're praying people, and we're going to keep praying. Because this is not only hurting my brother, it's hurting my mother. It's hurting a whole lot of people. That was her grandbaby. You know, and I just want to just, you know, let everybody know that, uh, just keep us in prayer. And, you know, and, uh, God's going to get control of this. And I thank everyone for your prayers from day one. We thank you, we thank you. And just keep us lifted up in prayer. Because we, we're going to need it until the end. Thank you very much. And I just, you see, just keep the mother, keep my nephew, keep all the ones in prayer. Because every, a lot of people are hurting over this. For some reason, some people hurt for good reasons. Some people hurt for bad reasons. But our family just, you know, we, we, just, we just need your prayers right now. And uh, like I said, my brother Jeff, they're going through. And I, you know, uh, but like I said, God got this and we're just going to pray. We're going to pray it through. You know, and I love everyone for, for your prayers. I thank you and I thank you. Jesus, that's the baby, y'all. Uh... Covered the baby up, but that's the child. I repeat, that was the child. This live is being posted. I'm going down now, but they put the. It was the baby. The baby got put inside. I'm zoomed in for real. Still kind of high, but I repeat, that was the child. Fucking drum, man. Hold on. That is the child. I repeat, that is the child. I can't really position my camera because it's fucked up. And the guy is coming out with the child. That is the child inside that blue.